Hey again everyone, welcome to Rigging and Skinning, a uh, tutorial where I'm going to show you how to create a skeleton or an armature inside of a character model so that when you move the skeleton it'll also move the uh, model. Uh, this gives us a great way to change poses uh, so that we can create cool animations later on. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, you'll want to create a character model, or you'll want to download one uh, from the internet. Uh, there are websites that offer them for free, and some of them that uh, offer them for money. Um, I, uh, I have a character model here uh, that I found on the web for free. And you'll just want to add that into your scene. Okay, and you'll want to get uh, two views. You want to switch to uh, yeah, switch to the front perspective and uh, go ahead and get a second view going on here, and uh, we'll change this one to the right view. Uh, this will make it easier for us uh, to position the skeleton inside of the character model. Um, so now you're gonna take your 3D cursor and you're gonna place it on the character's shoulder, and make sure you align it on all views here. And then you're gonna go to add armature and single bone and that adds a bone right there go to the uh, object data button over here on the right panel for the armature and select um, x-ray so that uh, you can actually see the bones through the character model uh, and uh, if you want you can also select names and uh, that'll show up the name of the actual uh, bone there um, so that's optional there um, go ahead and uh, uh, have the uh, bone selected, press uh, tab to switch to edit mode. Uh, when you're in edit mode, you can uh, go ahead and start positioning the bone inside the character model. And keep making sure it's aligned in, in both views, the front and the right perspective. Um, to add another bone, we can either press E to extrude it, or you can also press... Um, you can do a uh, control click, uh, left click on the on a piece here, uh, anywhere on the on the screen, and it'll create another uh, bone going to wherever you clicked. Um, so you'll want to use that to uh, create the forearm and create his hand, and have the bones uh, connected to each other. All right, so that's his arm. Uh, we're gonna want to do his uh, leg now. So uh, again, place your uh, 3D cursor uh, around uh, his thigh area. Make sure it's aligned on both views. And um, you're going to press uh, space. Uh, actually, you're going to press uh, shift A to add a bone. And uh, again, position that inside of uh, the character's body here. And control left click around the character's ankle and control left click around the character's foot All right, and uh, now so we don't have to recreate this bone structure for the other side of the character's body uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna place the uh, 3D cursor in the middle of the character's body. It doesn't have to be perfect, just somewhere right, uh, just try and get it right in the center. Uh, we're gonna go down here and change the uh, pivot center to the 3D cursor. And uh, now we're gonna select the whole armature by pressing A, and you're gonna press uh, Shift D to duplicate it. Press Escape to uh, get out of the uh, grab mode. And then now we're gonna press Control M as in uh, mom, to uh, mirror the uh, armature. And we're going to mirror it across the x-axis, so press x after you press control M. And that switches it over to the other side of his body. Uh, press enter there, and now you've got uh, his other side completed. Um, we can go ahead and add a uh, bone for his head as well. Um, same thing here, just to place your uh, 3D cursor around uh, his neck. Make sure it's aligned, and uh, press Shift A, and that'll add another bone. And just position it. All right, cool. 
Um, so that's pretty much character rigging right there. Um, two important things that you'll want to do before we go on to skinning is uh, first of all uh, go over to the uh, bone button over here on the right panel and for each bone you're gonna wanna give it a name um, just makes it easier for when you're trying to find a specific bone um, the second important thing you wanna do is when you're naming his uh, arms and his legs um, you're gonna have opposite bones as well so uh, for instance this piece here I'm gonna name it uh, up arm for upper arm uh, dot L uh, so you want to add the extension dot L to specify that it's the left upper arm. Um, when you name the right upper arm, you'll want to do dot R to specify that it's the right upper arm. Um, the reason you want to do this is uh, when you uh, position your character into a certain pose, if you ever want to mirror that pose to the other side of his body, uh, Blender will automatically recognize um, which bones are the opposite ones because of that dot .r or dot .l extension, so uh, make sure you do that. Alright, so uh, now we want to get to a uh, skinning, and skinning, uh, what that is, is basically applying vertices from the model to uh, specific bones on the armature. So uh, press tab to switch to object mode, we're going to select the uh, object, uh, we're going to select the character model first, and then we're going to shift click, or shift select um, the armature. So you've got uh, both objects selected, and you're going to press control P to parent the object. And we're going to do uh, set the parent to armature deform with automatic weights here. All right. So once you've done that, Blender will actually take uh, the vertices for the character model and apply them to different bones. So uh, let's press A to deselect everything, and we'll select our character model here, and um, we can uh, we'll go ahead and switch to edit mode, and go to object data button over here on the right panel, and. Uh, down here you can see your vertex groups and uh, these are the uh, different vertices um, or different groups of vertices uh, that Blender chunked with the bones so uh, when you press select there it selects the uh, bone inside of his foot um, but Blender won't get it perfect um, you will have to um, fix it a little bit um, so like for instance, uh, we can select his head here. As you can see, it's selected his chest, his shoulder, part of his upper arms. Um, we don't want all that. So uh, what you want to do is uh, press, uh, when, when you have head selected, make sure it's the only thing you have selected, you'll press C for circle select, and then press uh, the middle mouse button, and uh, you're going to deselect uh, everything that you want uh, to stay as part of the head group. Um, it's also a little bit easier if you select this button down here so that you can see the vertices in the back as well. And just deselect everything you want the head uh, to be a part of. So, it will take some patience getting all the correct vertices, but uh, just take your time. All right. Once you've deselected everything, uh, you'll see that everything you don't want is selected for you. Um, so is left selected. I mean. So um, now we're gonna click remove, and it's gonna remove all those vertices. So now uh, when I select head and select the select button over here, it's only gonna select the character model's head. Um, you want to go through and do that for the rest of the uh, groups here. I've already done that to save us some time. So, as you can see here, uh, we'll select, um, when I select my character model, and switch over to edit mode, when you go to the object data, uh, everything here has been uh, fixed. So. You want to try and get it uh, as exact as you can, just because if you uh, 
if you miss a vertice C and uh, you change the position of your character model, it can deform him pretty badly. Um, but you don't have to worry if that happens. You can always go back and uh, change the vertices group, the vertice, uh, the vertex groups, uh, if you're having that issue. So nothing you have to worry about. Uh, now we're actually ready to change uh, the character's position. So uh, let's go ahead and switch back to object mode, and we're going to want to select the armature. All right. Once you select the armature, you can actually um, go to pose mode or alternatively you can press control tab and it'll take you into the pose mode um, so once you've done that uh, you'll see that when you select the different bones they'll turn blue uh, basically you can just start moving them now just like this and it'll rotate them into different positions um, for certain pieces uh, so these are parent bones while these down here are child bones um, the parent bones if you move those it'll stretch out your character model if you want to fix that um, you can uh, you can go to uh, armature with the bone selected to, to the right panel over here and go to object data for armature and um, we're actually we're actually gonna go to the uh, bone button over here sorry about that when you go to the bone button, click on uh, transform locks here and select X, Y, and Z for the lock location. So now, when you grab that bone, it's going to leave uh, the, the pivot point right there. So it won't actually drag it away and make your character look funny. So you can go ahead and do that uh, for the upper legs and the upper arms to leave them in place there and for the head as well. And uh, once you've done that, you can uh, pretty much get creative, just start putting him into different positions. Um, just like that, you can make him run. Um, put him in a running position, I mean. And uh, just have fun with it. Um, in my next tutorial, we're actually gonna go into uh, animating this character uh, using uh, the the skinned and rigged model here um, and uh, you'll see how, uh, how neat and uh, how surprisingly easy it is to uh, animate your character once you have them fully rigged and uh, and skinned as well so that's pretty much it just uh, have fun put them into funny positions uh, you can do some pretty funny stuff on here so um, enjoy <laughs>